Hi, this is Michael Tipper from iMindMap User, and what I want to do today is do a very short video to show you how iMindMap adheres to the principles of mind mapping. Now, I might have mentioned in another post or another video elsewhere that the makers of iMindMap sing from the rooftops about the fact that it's the only mind mapping software officially recognized and endorsed by Tony Buzan, the inventor of the mind map. Now, is this important? Well, it is to Buzan and his team because the association between the originator of the technique and the software that enables you to put it all together on a computer will have commercial benefits to them both. However, the importance of the endorsement goes deeper than one of mere business. Having known Tony for nearly 15 years and how passionate he is about mind mapping, I know he doesn't take such public association lightly. Now, one of his long-held dreams was to see software that allowed him to do on computer what he has taught millions of people around the world to do on paper. And clearly, he believes iMindMap does just that. So let's explore the fundamentals of mind mapping and then show you how it compares to what the software can do as well. Here is an example of a hand-drawn mind map. Now, I'm just going to talk you through the features of this. So let's have a look at those features. Well, it consists of a central image. That represents the main topic of the map. And radiating out from that central image are main branches, or in mind map speak, if you want to get really geeky, basic ordering ideas. Now, these main branches are the key themes relating to the central topic. So, for example, if you had a central theme of farm, you might have key themes like people, animals, crops, vehicles, and so on. Now, branching off from the key theme branches are smaller branches that represent the details of that particular idea. So using the farm example, off of the keyword animals, you might have sheep, cows, horses, chickens, etc. Now the radiant structures you've seen on the maps here make sense when you look at a mind map of information you are familiar with, because the organization of the ideas will seem just right. What Buzan stumbled upon when he created mind mapping was a graphical way of representing information in exactly the same way the brain organizes it, which is why it's such a powerful tool. Now, as you can see from the maps I've just shown you, what it uses is a lot of color, and it uses keywords, and there are pictures and images as well. And the importance of those I can explain in another video later on. Now, what I want to do is just show you how the maps produced in iMind Map in the software compare against a hand-drawn cousin. Now, you've already seen a hand-drawn map. Let me show you the same mind map, but generated using iMind Map software. Now. As you can see, there's a very close resemblance between the two maps because the principles of mind mapping are adhered to in each case. One's generated by hand, the other's generated by software. And the first map, which you saw earlier, took a bit of time because I drew it by hand and was careful to make it clear and easy to read because it was for a presentation I was doing, which meant I was sharing it with others. Now, this map the, is the one generated in my map. also took a bit of time, but only because I was copying the first map, which was on a different a uh, different part of the computer. I had to keep switching between screens. Now, had I generated this from scratch as a collection of new ideas, it would have taken me much less time than the hand-drawn version you've just seen. So, as you can see, there's a very, very strong reason why Tony Bizan is heralding iMindMap as the best mind mapping software out there. Now, this video has been put together using iMindMap, and you can get a copy for yourself with a free trial download by clicking on the link below this video now. So go ahead, click on that link below, download the software, and start playing around with it, and I'm sure you'll find that it is a really powerful tool. So, see you in another video.